So, any party or any event is dead without music, right? So, while scrolling the Book of Faces, I came across a JBL speaker, right? And the price was a little too good to be true. So, come with me today as we are purchasing a knockoff JBL speaker of Facebook Marketplace. All right. So, obviously, I have thought about this in advance. And initially, we were actually going to purchase the earbuds and the earphones. And I'm like, you know what? We've reviewed plenty of those. And then it so happened that I come across this JBL speaker and such. So, here we can take a look. And in South Africa, it's ironic that the JBL product line has flooded the market. So knockoffs have been flooding the market. And here we see a JBL Boombox 3 Mini, which is actually a product range that doesn't exist. Just the Boombox 3 exists. But I found my seller. So I'm going to go purchase it. And then let's take a look at this um, JBL Boombox for 350 Rand. Alright, so the goods have been acquired. I must say this is different to what I was expecting. Um, purely because generally when you think of the JBL boombox, it's quite larger. Um, first impressions, I mean, I've already got an impression because I saw it in the store or in where I bought it from. But in terms of the print quality of the box, it's more or less your cheap sort of earphone, headphone, any cheap manufacturer's box. Um, let me give you a look. So this is what the box looks like. Um, yeah, dare to listen. The one thing, we can talk about it later, but I mean, there's JBL stickers here and it's a sticker. It's not printed with the box. That's the first thing to be noted. Um, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. So getting into the box, if we had to dive into what's in the box. In the box, we have our JBL Boombox 3 Mini, and it comes with an orange charging cable. Again, we'll talk about the charging cable in a second. Now, no, 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 no. If we had to look at the JBL, the box itself so I went with the blue right and it has the same look and feel as a speaker I can say but it has that material knitted um, finish on the JBL itself um, there's a foot stand at the bottom it is designed quite close to the um, to the actual JBL right and we obviously know that this is a knockoff because where can you get a, J a JBL for 350 Right. So let us hook up and play some tunes. Okay. So if you can't Music paused. So, in terms of the design with this, like I was saying, it has that material crisscross finish, um, but you can pick up that it's not well crafted because if you look around the joints and stuff, um, the material is bulging and you know not pushed in properly. Now, even around the ports, the ports are not formed properly, so there's a lot of excess plastic around where the USB charger will go. There's actually a little punch out 
um, the negative of where this opening is supposed to be, that's actually just pushed underneath the plastic of the, the USB port. So that's there as well. Um, the other thing that should be noted, right? So like how we said, it has a JBL sticker on the box there. But on the speaker itself, these JBL logos are basically stuck on little uh, sponge cutouts. That's just JBL and it's stuck here. So if you pull that off, it's just some old speaker. And with that being said, we actually did a little Google of the brand name. And we found this knockoff JBL on um, AliExpress. The funny thing is, I paid 350 Rand for this device. On AliExpress, it's selling for 560, excluding shipping. So I'd like to think I won in a sense because I bought a knockoff JBL cheaper than how much they're selling it from the actual retailers. But all in all, I mean, it's a speaker, but the fact that it is branded as JBL and it's sold as a JBL, so it's putting a premium price to it. Um, I mean, if it were just any other knockoff speaker, if it were just a regular boom box, it would be decent. I mean, it's loud. It, there's no distortion in the audio that I can hear, even though I was playing it loud. It has some good quality builds here. You got an aux, um, USB-A, micro for charging, and an SD card port. And I mean, it stands up. That's perfect. So where I was actually going with this video was I want to talk about, yeah, it's all cool and well to have first grade knockoffs and pay uh, a lower price instead of buying a premium product, even like with sunglasses and all of those things. But when it comes to tech, and there are quite a few issues around purchasing counterfeit goods. Uh, number one, obviously, is quality and safety. Because, I mean, when it comes to quality, this is more or less a decent quality device. But when you think of things like power banks and all of those things, when you purchase knockoff counterfeit devices, the quality isn't as good. So things like um, uh, the, the regulators and stuff won't be as good as the ones that they use in the original device, making the device more, more likely to fail sooner, even though you paid a lower price, right? Um, in terms of safety risk, I mean, safety risks when there's batteries and stuff installed, if it's um, not properly regulated, not properly connected and checked, and if the battery has to short circuit, then the device blows up, and then you go and think, oh, I bought an original JBL for a cheap price, but meantime, it's just some knockoff, and that's why it was so much more cheaper, because it was made in a sweatshop somewhere. I mean, we can also talk about the legal uh, ramifications, the loss, uh, no support or warranty, and obviously deception, because deception buyers obviously think that you're buying an, a legitimate product, but it's fake. And it's not just the case of like this, where we're buying something way cheaper than the actual market value, because the actual market value of a JBL uh, Boombox 3 is in the vicinity of like nine or 10,000 Rand. It's also in terms of original knockoff, because this we know it's a knockoff because it's so cheap, but you also have people that are selling knockoffs even like something like this if jbl had a product range that matched this then someone would think hey it's an original jbl and meantime you might pay that four or five thousand and for this exact device but meantime it's only like a hundred and device that you purchased we can also say the harm it does to the brand obviously economic so the brands lose out money the companies lose out money and then somewhere along the line someone's benefiting that's not paying taxes and all of those things. It also tarnishes the brand reputation, right? So well-known brands exactly like this, JBL, are unaware that consumers are buying counterfeit products and having a bad experience. And then you see res uh, reviews and stuff online that, hey, the JBL is a rubbish product, but you went and bought it from a shady dealer. Um, I mean, the last thing that we can also talk about is like environmental concerns and ethical concerns. So ethical concerns, like how I said, sweatshops producing it under terrible conditions and they're being paid two cents, three cents an hour to produce these things um, to match a premium brand and a premium product. So yeah, I hope I haven't spoken too much and made this too boring, but thanks for coming with us and purchasing my knockoff product off Facebook Marketplace. Um, 
in the comments below let us know maybe we should be shopping for something else maybe we can find a knockoff tesla on facebook marketplace um but yeah guys um if you enjoyed this video you can let me know by giving me a like rating if you did if you aren't already subscribed make sure you subscribe so you don't miss on any of our future videos guys lastly thank you very much for watching my name is prashan and i will catch you in the next video